Hi, welcome to codersa.com and our PySpark tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn how to perform data processing in PySpark. For that, we are using Jupyter Notebook to show you how to perform data processing in PySpark. Before we start, if you want to know more about information PySpark, you can watch our previous video. We have created playlist of PySpark tutorial series. You will get all the videos are in the playlist. So let's start. In this video, I will show you how to perform these 10 operations at column in existing data frame, update column in PySpark data frame, remove how to remove column from existing data, how to use filter function, how to sort the data, how to replace the null value with another value, how to remove rows with null values, how to replace one value with another, how to use filter function with start with, end with function and contains, how to join the two data frame. So let's start. First of all, here we initialize the PySpark and then here I'm created the Spark session. I have already explained it in the previous video. We have two data set, employee data and the department data of employee. Here we have already loaded the data in the Spark data frame. Here you can see the data. This is the employee data and this is the department data of employee. In the employee data set have seven columns and six rows and in the de uh, department data have two columns. Now here I will show you how to add the column in existing data frame. Here I'm, uh, I will increase the employee salary by 3% and uh, I will uh, increase salary add in a data frame. And we employ data dot with column. New salary. Here I am creating the new column. Here I am creating the salary by three percent. Here we can see the new column is added in the existing data frame and the salary increased by 3%. Now in the next cell, I will show you how to update the column. So here I will increase the salary by 3% and save this increased value in the same column. So for that, I will copy this code and just change the column name. Here we can see the value is updated in the same column. How to change the column name of Spark data frame? So now he here I will show you how to change the column name of this column. This column I will so for that employee data is 
the old name of column employee name dot show here we can see the column name is changed here now let's see how to remove column in the spark data frame drop I am uh, dropping this column. Now here we can see the this column is removed from the data set. We can delete the multiple column just add column name here with comma separated like this suppose i want to print or extract this data set suppose i want to print uh, or extract this data or this salary column in descending order so for that employee data dot sort function dot show here we can see that this salary data sorted in the descending order by default sort function sort the data in ascending order see the another way to sort the data and I'm ascending equals to false set dot show form <clears throat> see order function also used to sort the data set Here I am using the two columns. Ascending equals two square bracket. Here I am set the true or false. True for one and zero for false. Here I am set the both true. Dot show to replace the missing value in Spark data frame. So for that, employee dot data. 
सॉरी एन ए डॉट फिल एफ Show. Here I am replace this null value with f character. Here Aman is not a female. I am just doing example how to fill the missing values. So now uh, if uh, you want to remove only those rows where null value are present, so for that. dot data dot drop function sorry guys dot na dot drop dot show here we can see all the row deleted with null values Uh, how to replace one value with another value in the data set so for that i will here i am replace here i am uh, import the library which is help to replace the value x to place employee data dot with column Here I am replace this Akshay with Ankit. So for that I am here set the column name Akshay and the new name Ankit. This would be like this. Show. Sorry, guys, here our X is missing. And here we can see the Akshay replaced with Ankit. Now we will see how to extract the specific data using filter uh, filter function. Also, we will see what are the use of start with function, end with function, and contains. So let's see. Start filter, start with function, and end with function are used to search the data frame rows by checking column value, start with, and end with a string. So these methods are used uh, are also used to uh, filter not start with not end with a string so now here i am extract those records who employees who, whose employees name start with a so 
first of all I am import the library dot str dot functions import call dot name dot start with a and show the records here you can see the all the name are extracted start with a if i want record whose name end with h then i will use end with function here here I am set with H. So content function is used for suppose you want to extract those record whose name contains TE these two character then I will use it. Here I will show you contains and te here those character are available in this name now let's join up op join operation spark data frame supports all the basic sql giant types like inner left outer right outer left left semi cross le uh, self join etc here i am join two data frame employees and department so to join the two data frame we require one co uh, column is common in both data set suppose here uh, in this two data set department id is column common this this and this so let's start this column this common column which is also called as key column we will use department id to join the two data frame so let's see employee id dot join department data this this department data and employee data dot emp dipped id is the column common column equals request to department data dot dipped id and joining this in inner function dot show function inner join combine the record from two tables whenever there are matching value in a field common to both tables so that's it for today i will explain new topic of spice park in the next video thank you